You don't want to miss it. All right. So, at our stage community of stores. Bought this at Walmart. I wasn't going to, but because the speakers light up, I was like, oh, okay, I got to have a stereo that does that. So, it was a uh, when these first came out, it was, I believe additionally, it was uh, $100. Then it went down to 78 which I thought that's what the price was. I get there, it's $58. So, <laughs> fucking A. I'm down with that. $58. Now, it's not, it sounds really good. Pick up a Scott's Turf Builder program today. You may tell yourself that watching the um, I have not yet tried any of the functions yet. So let me find my old phone. I can try and link Bluetooth up to it. I'll play a CD and see if that works. I wonder if it's actually um, rewritable compatible. It should be. Today's standard, people always use like rewritable discs. Discs, and I actually got a disc on me, so. Let's see. Uh, I'm just trying to think of how to switch modes. This must be it, here we go. Aux CD. Okay. Let's open it up. Let's see if it reads rewritables. Well, I can hear it in there. Oh, good. There we go. can't do much uh, music now because I think YouTube has cut their stuff shorter. It used to be like 20 seconds. Now I think they're down to 11 seconds before it receives a copyright strike. This one is from the library, so I can play this song. Now, I have it set for blue, and you can change these colors, or have it go random. To do the change the colors, you have to hold down the equalizer button. So you can let it off, and it goes off. Hold it, light one, which I believe shuffles through the colors. Yep, there it goes. Light two would be red only, light three is green only, and light four is blue only. Now, I heard a couple reviews on this, poor reviews about the C player being lousy, like it skips by itself. And people have tried several CDs and it does the same effect, so it's probably a manufacturing flaw or something. It's happened to more than one stereo. But, um, so far, well, looks like it plays fine, for me at least, but um, if that ever does happen, I'm just going to use the aux and the Bluetooth, and actually, oh, that's just a charging port. So yeah, I got aux and Bluetooth. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, let me find my old phone and see how well Bluetooth links up to it. So while I wait for that to load up, um, so you got your power, your equalizer, if you just push it. You got rock, pop, clear, or off. You got your repeat and the memory up program. That's your function switch between modes. There's your light, um, your infrared sensor. Line in, charging port, and your basic CD controls on top. And here's the box. Black web, yes. So, now that the phone is charged, I'm charged on. Hold on. Stop that, let's change mode two. 
Bluetooth. Pairing. <laughs> it says pairing. Well, can't pair yet. Let's find out. Search for devices. Should show up on the bottom. CD stereo system. Audio device connected. Why, gee, thank you. Oh, copyright free music. All right. Yep, I say it does sound good. Ooh, not bad. Yeah, I already like this little stereo. All right, I'm not going to test the aux import because I already know it's going to work. So, all right, well, that is the Black Web 100 watt Bluetooth stereo system. Awesome. Later.